you. New at 630, shifting the strategy for COVID vaccines. The FDA is considering a big change ahead of its Thursday meeting. They're looking at adopting a strategy similar to an annual flu shot, which updates to match whatever strain is circulating at that time. ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer is going inside the numbers on current vaccine stats and what this shift could mean. Since the first COVID-19 vaccine became available in December 2020, more than 660 million doses have been administered across the country. Nearly all of these are from primary series. That's first and second doses. In total, about 70% of the population. But the FDA is looking to change their strategy on vaccines, instead treating it more like an annual flu vaccine. This is what's being discussed. The FDA wants to focus on a single bivalent vaccination for most. They would still recommend the two dose series for certain young children and older adults with compromised immune systems. This will uh, this will come with a process to update COVID-19 vaccines on a yearly basis. So what's a COVID-19 bivalent vaccine? It's a vaccine that includes both the original COVID-19 strain and the Omicron variant. It's this Omicron component that would be updated annually, much like the flu shot is today. Here you can see 230 million Americans have taken the two dose primary series for COVID-19 since 2020. Almost as many, though, have gotten the flu shot for just this year. But the COVID-19 bivalent vaccine, only 51 million so far. And this map shows why the FDA is considering this. Only one state, Vermont, has a bivalent vaccination rate above 30%. Most states range between 11 and 15%. Arizona sits at 14%. That's squarely in the middle. Bivalent rates are higher in the West Coast and in the New England area. But the lowest bivalent rates are with the most of them being in the southern area. This is the southern states from a range of 7 to 10 percent. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.